Welcome back. Today's organizing style is a bee. If you missed the last video about the butterfly organizing style, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I know there are some of you out there who are feeling slightly confused about your bug. Let me assure you, you don't have to fit yourself into a box. You don't have to be just one defined organizing style. The entire purpose of the different bugs is to help you really establish what works for you and what doesn't and why. So if you've struggled with organizing systems in the past, struggled to maintain them, hopefully this can really help you. Don't worry too much about putting yourself in a concrete category. You may be a little bit of a cricket in one area of your life and a little bit of a bee in another. So let's talk about a bee. A bee is a really visual person, like a butterfly, except that they have the ability to use really detailed organizing systems, and they want to create really detailed organizing systems. This doesn't mean that they can't use simple macro organizing systems, it just means that their tendency is to want to have the perfect organizing system. Bees are generally really organized people, but their home doesn't always reflect that. First of all, these meticulous organizing systems that they want to set up are time consuming and sometimes expensive. So what bees tend to do is the same as crickets, they put off organizing until they can do it right or perfect. They're a little bit of perfectionists. The other thing about a bee is they are very visual, like a butterfly. They like a visual abundance. They like to see their belongings, not having them hidden away in closets or in baskets. And just like a butterfly, a bee has a real reluctance to let things go. They justify this reluctance with logic though. So they'll say, it was expensive, or I might need it someday, or it could be useful. They really have a hard time getting rid of things that they feel they would have to replace in the future, which let's be honest, that could be just about everything. Bees also tend to come with a lot of stuff. So they're crafters or they like baking. They love hobbies. Maybe they're woodworkers. And with all of these hobbies and projects, come a lot of things that they want to see and have visual and are reluctant to let go. So of course, if you're a bee, you could definitely struggle with clutter. So let's talk about some solutions that can work just for you. Right off the bat, you're a bit of a perfectionist bee. If you take the time to set up an organizing system, you can use it, you will maintain it. You have no problems using systems that you've set up in the past, as long as they're really visual. They can be as detailed as you want. You will take the time to put your little screws in, in tiny screw sizes in a bento box style because that's totally your personality but until you have the time to sort all the screws properly, they're probably gonna be sitting in a pile waiting for you to get around to it. And let's be honest, that is time consuming. Your level of organization takes huge amounts of time. So my number one tip would be to let go a little bit and macro organize some of the things until you have the opportunity to go back and micro organize them. The other things that really work for bees, of course, is open shelving, clear containers, and go ahead and get those tiny containers and really separate your things into smaller categories. This is honestly the way you would prefer to have your things organized. A pegboard organizer is pretty much made for you too. In a craft room, in a garage, wherever it is that you have small smaller tools that you want to be able to grab, know exactly where they are and put them back in their proper home, you should invest in a pegboard. I am not a bee. I am not a meticulous organizer at all. I need easy, lazy systems. You though, you can use those more detailed systems. So an organizer that you should really look to for inspiration is Alejandra. I'm going to put a link to her channel below. She is a full blown bee. Visual organizing systems, but really meticulously organized. That's your jam, my friend. So I'm going to put a link to her channel. Check her out. I know you're going to feel really inspired. Most bees really struggle to get rid of things that could be useful someday. I don't know if it's the financial correlation or if it feels wasteful, whatever it is, bees like to hold on to just about everything. My friend Jess is 100% a bee and you guys know recently I made over her craft room. Let me tell you, she's a huge crafter and likes to hold on to every single craft supply. She's reluctant honestly to get rid of anything out of her home because she sees it as useful and she also sees it as the dollar amount that it would cost to replace it. 
but this reluctance to let go has filled her home and it filled her craft room with useful things making her craft room useless. So for her and so many other bees, keeping things and holding on to things to feel like we have that abundance is actually taking from us. It's taking our time, it's taking our space, and it's not allowing us to live the life that we really want. So be you have to let go. You probably have a lot of projects. You probably have hobbies that you love doing. I want you to be really selective. If you haven't done candle making in six months, you probably never will. And it's time to let those supplies go to somebody who would actually use and love them. Don't think about your someday future maybe self when you're looking at your home and what you wanna keep. Think about today right now, to yourself right now. You deserve a space that you can love and create or whatever it is that you wanna do today, not tomorrow, not someday. We can't predict the future. And holding on to things for that someday is taking away from your today. So remember bees, your best organizing style is to have things displayed visually. Open shelving, clear containers, you can have beautiful jars lined up on a shelf with all your favorite little things inside. You need visual, just like a butterfly, labels work awesome for you, but you are the person who once you set up an organizing system, you will have no problems maintaining it. You, my bee friend, are a perfectionist and a very organized person. You just need to get over the hurdle of perfection, make time to actually set up systems and let go so it's not a huge undertaking. Let go of the things you're not gonna use in the next few months. So thanks so much and I will see you next time. So thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I know, I'm not uploading a ton of videos. I'm not really doing much of anything because here's why. My kids have been home off school since December 22nd and getting stuff done with them home is just it's pretty much impossible and it's not the girls the girls they're 11 and 9 they're pretty like self-sufficient <laughs> Milo's five and you think by five but no he's amazing he just likes to be with me like every he's like my mini me he just will not leave my side if i even i you know when people are like oh go to the bathroom the kid that's my kid he's knocking he's looking under the door he he cannot be away from me at all when we're home and he, everything he has to show me and a lot of it revolves around his bathroom <laughs> thanks Saying this out loud, hope he's not gonna watch this when he's older. Uh, I think this is a normal thing. I've talked to other moms, so I'm like, is he gonna be like super messed up when he's older? Like, I don't know, is this like some issue? But apparently this is like a thing where for the longest time he wanted me to be in the bathroom with him when he was going to the bathroom. And then I shut that down. I'm like, you're five now. Like, I think let's do the privacy thing. You could shut the door. But then he screams for me, like I'll be in the kitchen, like, like he's being murdered, like mom, mom and I come running in and he's sitting on the toilet and he's just like hi <laughs> like just wants me there as a spectator and he knows that if he's if he calls for me like his limb is falling off or you know there's some sort of murderer in the bathroom with him then I'll come running because he's trained me like a trained monkey why he wants me in there is beyond me but he really does and he it's like I try things to get him I tried to do a podcast the other day and I got him a movie and I got him toys and I got him candy and I put on the movie and I'm like okay listen dude dude mom's gonna film like a like a record a podcast it's gonna be 10 minutes 10 minutes from now just sit here don't bug my I'm right next door I'm like right in the room right next door just shh for like 10 minutes, okay? And he's like, yeah, mom, no, totally. I will not bug you. I, I got this. So then I'm like eight minutes into my podcast and it's got the flow and I'm going and it's maze balls, And he starts screaming like he's, you know, <laughs> torn to shreds by a wild animal. So I come running out into the living room and he's like, look at this, look at it, mom. And I look at this bin that he's pulled off of our toy shelf and I look inside expecting like a severed head or something and it's empty. It's empty. <laughs> it was an empty bin and he thought, he thought that this empty bin was just like 
the most insane thing because we don't have empty bins because I'm a tiny bit of a hoarder. <laughs> so he, he had to show me that we had a toy bin that had no toys in it and it must be filled immediately. And I tried sending him outside and they were building snowmen's and I'm like, that's it. I'm just going to like respond to some emails. And he's ringing the doorbell like freaking some sort of teenager that's going to leave flaming poop on my doorstep because he wants a carrot for his snowman or he wants this or his mitten fell off and only I can put it back on because the way I put it on is apparently better than the way he or his sisters help him and then he had snow on his cheek and instead of wiping it off I had to wipe it off and I'm just like <laughs> I can get nothing done nothing and maybe it's because he's my last and i've suckied the crap out of him and i have i i baby him and that's why that's why i haven't been uploading or getting work done as much as i would like to because i'm just hanging out with my boy all my kids it's just when when they're home we are together like white on rice and not really able to get much else done but just be their mom. So anyways, I hope you understand they're back to school now, so I'll be getting back into the swing of things and I'll see you next time.